thank you Actors Day in LA for coming to Malibu Stage Company where we are doing a production of Cabaret through December 9th, 2012. Welcome to Berlin, my friend. Welcome to Berlin. Herr Schultz, who also lives here. Pleased to meet you. You are American. I have a cousin in Buffalo, Felix Tannenbaum. Is it possible you know him? One of the central themes of the play which is the rise of the Nazis and Hitler coming to power, promising prosperity to a very depressed economy, and the populace wanting, you know, to get their country back, and the the Nazis promoting propaganda, really false propaganda about the Jews, about homosexuals, about Christians. One of the marvelous things that Hal Prince did in the original production was to create the Kit Kat Club, and all of the songs in the Kit Kat Club mirrored what was happening in the book scenes, basically. So, for instance, when there's a Jewish question and the anti-Semitism, there would be the song with the gorilla that would reflect it. If you could only see her through my eyes, you wouldn't be prejudiced. And this is still very, very timely, and the show constantly fascinates. I, I have the real honor and pleasure in this show of working with two members of my family, which I really love to share with you. Uh, when I got asked to direct this, I thought, I'm not doing it without my family. It's too big of a show. I have to schlep from Studio City to Malibu. I, I need my family around me. So I asked my wife if she would be assistant director and to play Fraulein Cost, and she also designed the set. And I um, asked my daughter Lily to play Sally Bowles. And we thought at first maybe she was too young, but then we did some research and found out that Sally Bowles was 19. In the original Berlin stories written by Christopher Isherwood, Sally is a, is a girl who's rebelling against her parents in England, goes to Berlin to you know let her hair down, so to speak. So she is a young girl, and, and it seems quite right to ask my, my very talented daughter to play Sally Bowles. And I turn it over to her now. Hi, I'm Lily Passero. This is a, it's been quite a project to dive into. Uh, Sally Bowles is a once in a lifetime role. Having said that, I kind of hope I get to play her again someday, but it's been really exciting getting to play her now at this age, at this time in my life, especially uh, reading about how young the real Sally Bowles was and reading the Berlin stories and getting to know the actual person that existed. She is a free spirit. She's larger than life. There's nothing that I, as an actor, feel like I can't do in in playing with her. I feel like I can get away with anything because she kind of lives her life that way, no rules. Her goal in life is, is to be larger than life. She wants fame at any cost, so I get to just have a lot of fun with her. With a couple of my school chums and a lady chaperone. My name is Elizabeth Hayden Passero and I am the assistant director. I, I originally came on board as assistant director and uh, wound up taking on the role of Fräulein Kost, who is uh, an older prostitute who lives in the same boarding house with Cliff and Sally. And then it turned out that because we were doing the, the 98 revival version, the, whoever plays Fräulein Kost also plays a Kit Kat girl, and a Chanteuse. Hi, I'm Brent Moon. I'm from Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm playing the MC in Malibu Stage Company's The Cabaret. The MC is the liaison and the bridge between the message on stage and to the people. There's been a lot of great people who played this role, Joel Gray, Alan Cumming, two different extremes to the same character, and everything at the same time is, oh, you don't have to move, I'm very concept of Donka, <laughs> is to deliver the message, because this message is pertinent, this message is just now. The MC is not to alienate the audience, but to make them feel like they're on this stage, and it's uncomfortable, and it's funny, and it's sad, and it's amazing, and it's this wild ride. Two,
my name is Michael Cusimano. Uh, I play Bobby and the customs officer and lady number two and a Kit Kat boy and whatever other characters come into the fray along the way. I'm Denver um, Lord and I'm playing Cliff Bradshaw in this production and he's kind of like the innocent young American who has traveled over to Europe. To, he's a writer, so he's, he's coming looking for inspiration uh, for things to write about. Hi there, I'm Linda Kearns and I'm playing Fraulein Schneider. I got a chance to jump into this production, uh, sort of at the last Gerard. minute. <laughs> and uh, so I'm happy to be here and I'm going to pass this microphone over to the wonderful Alan Wasserman. Well, I don't know how wonderful, but I'm Alan Wasserman. I'm playing Herr Schultz originally. Well, Herr Schultz is the uh, only Jewish character in the uh, show. He uh, owns a fruit shop, and he's uh, very uh, much a patriotic German, and uh, his patriotism blinds him from what's uh, happening all around him. Uh, he's seen horrible anti-Semitism in his life, and, f and it's come and go, and he feels it's just going to come and go again. Unfortunately, historically, we find out he's wrong, but he stays a... Uh, a patriotic German till the very end. I hope you will enjoy your stay in Germany. Most happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs>